Recently, the news rose infectious enthusiasm among the people as it stated that Anna Winter, editor-in-chief of Vogue, blacklisted Meghan Markle from the Met Gala event, and she'll only be able to arrive at the event if she buys the ticket for herself. What do you think could be the reasons behind Anna blacklisting Meghan? Were there any controversies between the two in the past? In the world of fashion and entertainment, the annual Met Gala is one of the most highly anticipated events of the year. Every year, the event draws some of the biggest names in the industry, from designers and models to actors and musicians. However, in recent years, rumors have circulated about an alleged blacklist of celebrities who are no longer welcome at the event, and Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, is one of those names. The alleged feud between Meghan and Anna Winter reportedly stemmed from the Duchess's perceived disrespect of the Vogue editor during her guest editing stint for the magazine's September 2019 issue. At the time, Meghan was still a senior working member of the royal family and was given the honor of guest editing Vogue's coveted September issue, which was typically the magazine's largest and most important issue of the year. However, according to sources, Anna Winter was left disappointed by Meghan's editorial choices and felt that the Duchess was difficult to work with. Did you know that Anna Winter has been involved with the Met Gala ever since 1995? Following the publication of the issue, rumors began to circulate that Anna Winter had placed Meghan on a blacklist, effectively banning her from attending the Met Gala. While neither Anna Winter nor Meghan Markle have publicly commented on the rumors, reports have continued to circulate that the Duchess is not welcome at the event unless she purchases a $300,000 ticket herself. This move is seen as an attempt to ensure that Meghan does not attend the event. As the Duchess is unlikely to purchase a ticket at such an unreasonably high price. The alleged blacklisting of Meghan has sparked a debate about the role of power and privilege in the fashion industry. Many have criticized Anna Winter and the Met Gala for their elitism and exclusivity, arguing that the event is a symbol of everything that is wrong with the fashion industry. Others have defended Winter's decision, arguing that the Met Gala is a private event and that Winter has the right to invite or exclude whomever she chooses. However, it's important to note that the alleged blacklisting of Megan is not an isolated incident. In recent years, there have been several reports of celebrities being banned from the Met Gala for various reasons. For example, in 2018, it was reported that Sarah Jessica Parker, one of the event's most frequent attendees, had been banned from attending after reportedly feuding with Anna Winter over the theme of the event. Similarly, in 2017, it was reported that Madonna had been banned from attending the event after breaking the event's strict no-selfie policy. Fun fact, the first Met Gala was held in 1948, but it wasn't until 1971 that it became an annual event. The alleged blacklisting of Megan also raises important questions about the role of the media in perpetuating negative narratives about public figures. Megan has been the subject of intense media scrutiny and criticism since she first entered the public eye as Prince Harry's girlfriend. Her race, background, and outspokenness on issues such as mental health and social justice have made her a target of harsh criticism and online abuse. While it's unclear whether the rumors of her blacklisting from the Met Gala are true, they are just one example of the ways in which the media can use its power to marginalize and exclude individuals. As we already know, the Met Gala has become a platform for political and social activism, with attendees using their fashion choices to make statements about issues like gender equality, diversity, and climate change. Despite the rumors of her blacklisting from the Met Gala, Megan has continued to use her platform to advocate for causes she's passionate about. Since stepping back from her role as a senior working member of the royal family, she's been vocal about issues such as gender equality, racial justice, and mental health. She has also launched several initiatives aimed at promoting these causes, including the Archwell Foundation. What do you think? Is Anna Winter's decision of blacklisting Meghan Markle from the event right or not? Do share your views in the comment section.